Minecraft. Today we're gonna be doing wood chop. So with the very dangerous and high power tools on your desk, you're gonna be making a wooden sculpture. Oh man, this hammer's so cool. Whoa, isn't this kind of dangerous? <gasps> awesome! Hey Cody, tag your in! <laughs> Joseph, get away from me, you're gonna poke my eye out with that thing. Dude, it's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know what? Oh, yeah, oh. you like it. Stop it. Uh, teacher, what are we supposed to make? Anything you want. See, I made a birdhouse. So, get started, Kraus. Okay, teacher. But, but Joseph, put Cody down. But dude, he's having fun. Put him down. All right, dude. Oh, God, I'm gonna throw up. Cody, are you okay? Oh, dude, stop being a baby. I gave you a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Cody, what are you gonna make out of wood? I don't know. Probably a unicorn. Gay. Well, what are you gonna make? Ooh, a shark. Straight. I know. What about you, Junior? What are you making? I think I'm gonna make a dinosaur. Dope. Why did I only get tape and scissors? Because you're a girl. You can't be trusted with high-powered machinery. Us men can handle this, not you. Whatever. I'll still make something better than you. Hey, idiot. What are you gonna make? I'm not really sure you should be calling me names today. <laughs> Whatever, idiot. Don't do it, Jeffy. Don't do it. Uh, teacher, can I see the nurse? Is that an axe in your head? Yeah. <sighs> Crass, make sure you be careful with the tools. You only have 15 minutes. Uh, All right, Crass, stop working. Your 15 minutes is up. I'm now going to come around to Crass and see what you made. Hey, Cody, check out my dinosaur. Sick dino, Junior. Not cooler than my shark, though. Hey, Penelope, what'd you make? I made a house. What a lame house. You didn't even put a door. I didn't have enough time, Junior. Hey, everybody, look at Penelope's lame house. She didn't put a door. That means any guy can come and go whenever they want, like between her mom's legs. Oh! Junior? Your mama hoe! Your mama ho! <laughs> All right, Penelope, what did you make? I made a house. Okay, where's your door? Oh, I didn't have enough time. Okay, B minus. All right, Junior, what did you make? I made a dinosaur. <laughs> Great, where's his eyes? Uh, it, it's a blind dinosaur. B minus. <sighs> All right, Joseph, what did you make? Oh, I made a shark. <laughs> okay, where's his body? Uh... B minus. Aww. All right, Cody, what did you make? Uh, I made a unicorn head. Oh, yay. Finally, someone who made exactly what they said. A plus. <laughs> what? That's not fair. All right, Jeffy, what did you make? I made a machine gun. Oh, Jesus Christ, Chris. He finally doing it. Everyone under the desk like we practiced. Someone call the cops. <laughs> He's gonna do it! He's always the weird kid! I thought Cody was gonna do it! Thanks, Junior. Get out of the desk, Cody! Get out of the desk! Alright, kids, I'm here. Stay calm. It's safe now. Just everybody stay under their desks. What's going on? Hey there, crazy. Just calm down. Don't do anything stupid. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Just hand me the weapon. It's made out of wood. Alright, I'll be the judge of that. I know a gun when I see it. Alright, everybody, I got the gun! Let's run! Run for your lives! Wait, wait, wait a minute. This actually is made out of wood. Man, kid, you're in big trouble for getting my hopes up like that. I thought I was going to be a hero today. But still, you're still in big trouble, because you could get expelled for pulling a stunt like this. You're lucky I don't arrest you. I'm sorry? What's wrong, Marvin? I have this weird feeling that Jeffy did something bad at school today. Oh, Marvin, you worry too much. Just sit back, relax, we'll watch TV. Okay. Breaking news, okay? This student made a weapon during his shop class and sparked panic across the entire school. Cops are on the scene now, dealing with the situation. More on the story as it develops. Oh my god! I told you I had a feeling Jeffy was gonna do something bad. Hey, Daddy, guess what? So I was doing my project in school, and the teacher said I was doing such a good job that I got to come home early, and now I never have to go back. Jeffy, what did you do? Your son did the worst thing imaginable. What'd he do? Well, on the car ride over here, I was drinking Hawaiian Punch, and he asked me if he could have a sip, and I said, no, you have little kid germs. And he said, don't worry, you'll waterfall in. So he goes to drink it, and he spills it all over my car. It gets on the seats, it it gets in the cup holders, it gets on the floorboards, big sticky mess. I am not happy. No, no, I, I meant what happened at school. Oh, that. Yeah, that wasn't as bad. Yeah, he just made a gun out of wood and everybody thought it was real, so they got scared. What? Hawaiian Punch! What? But baby, we're past that part. No, I know, but it's just so red and sticky. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I have to clean it up. I'm pretty pissed. No, 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 no. no. Look, we, the more important thing is let's talk about Jeffy at school. What's going to happen? Oh, he's getting expelled. Expelled? What? Well, yeah, but the school said they'll let him go back to school if he completes a one-day juvenile detention class school thing that I teach. Okay, when, when is the class? Oh, it's tonight. And if he fails, he's going to go to jail. Well, go to jail? So he has to pass it? He has to pass it to go back to school. And 99% of the people who take my class fail. Well, doesn't that mean you're just a bad teacher? No, it means they're bad people. It's not my fault. Okay, so, so Jeffy's gonna go to the class tonight and he's gonna pass. Right, Jeffy? Yep. 
All right, oh, I'm gonna go clean out my car. Oh, okay. Chevy, why did you do that? It's not my fault I spilled the Hawaiian punch. He went over a speed bump. Well, no, no, not that. Why did you do the thing at school? Well, because the teacher said that I could make whatever I wanted out of wood, so I made a wooden gun, and it doesn't suit shit. What's oh, Chevy, language? Okay, look, let's just all calm down. Jeffy, you're gonna go to the class tonight, and you're gonna pass it, okay? Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, do you guys have napkins? Like, like a whole bunch of napkins? Yeah, in, in the kitchen. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need a lot of napkins, though. Oh, okay, go, go to the kitchen. Oh my god, this is, why is this my life? Mm -mm -mm. This looks so yummy! Hey, can I have some of these paper towels? Yeah, sure! Thanks. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I'm getting paper towels, you said I could. Why so many? Look, man, my car is covered in Hawaiian punch. I need this many paper towels. No, you don't! Yes, I do! No, you don't! Yes, I do! No, you don't! Hey, look over there! What? Wait, hey, stop it! Hey, you can't stop me! My paper towels! God, he was so annoyed! Who's that? Wait, what do you want? Hey, I'm gonna need a lot more paper towels than this. Can I have the rest? No! Uh, I don't want to be here! Hey, kid, what colors your blood? What happened to your eyes? I tattooed my eyeballs with my pencil. All I see is darkness! Uh, you wanna try? No! Suit yourself. Ugh. I wanna start a fire. I don't regret the people I killed. Give me your eyelids. No. I said give me your eyelids. No way. <laughs> all right, all right. Settle down, you freaks. Welcome to Be Good School, where I teach you how to be good. All right, you are all menaces to society. The world would honestly be a better place if you did not exist. So I'm gonna try to fix you. Now there are three main rules on how to be good. The first rule is manners. Now that includes things like saying please and thank you, and according to my wife, not pissing on the toilet seat. But I do it anyway. It's not my fault you have to pee sitting down, just pee standing up like a man. Anyway, who wants to give me an example of manners? Can I please start a fire? Well, no, you can't start a fire, but you did say please, and I like that. That's one step in the right direction, and then five steps in the wrong direction because you asked to commit arson. Okay, look, I'll give you a real life example of manners, okay? Let's say you're at a restaurant, and you order some chicken strips and a side of ranch. And so the waiter comes, and he brings the chicken strips, but he forgets the ranch. And you say, excuse me, I think you've forgotten my ranch. And he says, oh, right, I'll be right on that. And then, I don't see him for 15 minutes and then he comes back and he says can I get you anything and I say well I really would like my ranch and then he says oh right of course the ranch and then he disappears for 30 goddamn minutes and then has the balls to come back and say hey can I get you the check and I say what you can get me is my fucking ranch and he says well you can't talk to me that way and I say I can talk to you any way I want let me see your manager and then he says I am the manager and I say well that's funny because your name tag says waiter so go get me the manager. So then the manager comes over and says, is there anything wrong here? And I say, yeah, look at my dry chicken strips. I want some ranch. You're going to copy this entire meal for free, or I'm going to put one of my ball hairs in the food and say that you did it, and I'm going to get this entire restaurant shut down. And then the manager says, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm going to copy you your entire meal. All your food is free today. And then I say, thank you. See, that's manners. I said thank you. So did anybody learn anything? Um, I learned not to forget your ranch. Yes, yes, you don't forget the ranch. That's exactly right. I mean, chicken strips without ranch, it's like a car without tires. What are you even going to do with it? Yes, exactly. You're going to make an excellent waiter someday if Applebee's ever starts hiring felons. Okay, now the second one is helping people. You got to help people. It's just the nice thing to do, okay? Now I'll give you an example. What do you do if you're driving down the street and you see a girl whose car is broken down on the side of the road? You stuff her in the trunk? No, you don't do that. You set her car on fire? No, what is it with you and fire? What kind of car is it? Why does that even matter? Maybe I can steal it, I don't know. Well, you can't steal it because it's broken down and you shouldn't even want to anyway because that's wrong. Come on, think, people. Do you cut off her face and wear it? I don't think it's that one. It's definitely fire. No, 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 no. All of you are stupid. Does anyone have an actual good answer? Um, pick her up and take her on a date to Applebee's? What? Ew! No, not Applebee's! Were you even listening to anything I was saying? No, she'd be better off just on the side of the road. She'd be just as hungry. You know, she'd just have to wait 30 minutes to get her chicken tenders and ranch anyway. No, 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 no. No, look, I'll give you a real-life example of helping people. So, my grandfather was incredibly rich. I mean, he was a millionaire, just filthy rich. And so he was in the hospital, and I was visiting him every day, you know, to make sure I got a piece of that. And then I see that he's on life support. He's being kept 
kept alive by a machine. Now, I'm thinking, what kind of life is that? That's no way to live, being kept alive by a machine. But he seems happy. He says, when I get this heart transplant tomorrow, I'm going to feel so much better. I can't wait to get out of the hospital. And I hear, I can't wait to get out of the hospital. So I'm thinking, I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going to help him, and I'm going to I'm going to end his suffering and pull the plug. So I do, and he flatlines, and all the nurses come running into the room, and I just say that I tripped on the power cord, and they believe me. And then, come to find out, what did he leave me in his will? A sofa! Can you believe that? I killed my, I, I mean, I helped my grandfather go to heaven. Or hell, probably, if all he left me was a sofa. Hey, you know what, kid? Ask your dad if my grandfather's in hell. Okay. Thank you. See? There you go. He's helping me by asking if my grandfather's in hell. All right, so we've covered two already. Manners and helping people. We just have one more left to cover. Now, does anyone want to guess what that is? Starting files. Eating people's faces. Great Theft Auto. Total Annihilation. Picking your nose and eating it. No to all of that, because most of those were crimes, and the third third one is, don't do crimes, okay? Now, crimes is stuff like killing people, stealing things. Yes, setting things on fire is a crime. And what I did to my grandfather was a crime. And so is what I will do to you if you tell anyone you heard that. All right, so now we're going to have a test that will make you have to use all three of the be good rules, okay? And you have to pass this test to not go to jail. But first, I'm going to have a lunch break and eat my very big foot-long imaginary sandwich. I just hope it's not too big. Um. I'm choking because I, I need... Ah, he's choking! We have to do something! Richard set him on fire while he's choking. We should eat his face and we choke too. Let's just watch. Does he have a wallet? I'm coming to help you! <laughs> oh, oh, Jeffy, you saved me! Thank you! You're welcome! See, class? That was it. That was the test. Jeffy passed because he did all three of the be good rules. He helped me when I needed it. I said thank you, and he said you're welcome, so that's manners. And he didn't commit any crimes like the rest of you did by not helping me because that was the crime of criminal negligence. So Jeffy is the only one who's not going to jail. Oh, what was that? So how do you think Jeffy's Be Good School is going? I think it's going to be bad. You know, because it's called Be Good, so he's going to be bad. Be bad. Yes, like, Marvin. Be bad, like, hey, then guess what? I passed. You passed? Sure did. Yep, he saved my imaginary life. You know, most students don't save my life whenever I choke on the imaginary sandwich, but your son did, so he passed. He learned how to be good. He learned his manners. He learned that he should help people. He learned not to do crimes, and he learned that he should get me my ranch at Applebee's. So does that make up for the Hawaiian punch? Mmm, I forgot about that before now. All right, listen, kid, you better hope I never have to see you again. Well, Jeffy, look, at least you passed, you're not going to jail, and we can put this whole thing behind us. Yeah! Hey, so I got a call from a kid with an axe in his head, and he said you did it. Uh, oh! Uh... All right, we're going back, come on. Oh, Jeffy.